first few years were mostly spent on getting going, getting the engines and micro package brought into place. And most recent years is basically just adding more and more fonts and improving the fonts that were already uh, developed. Choices of fonts have grown every year. I think Latin Modern and Take Gyre are doing fairly well in comparison to the other fonts. At least in, in terms of uh, completeness. <sighs> yeah, I said choices of fonts the reef could be reconsidered which one matches from point of compatible width and weight. Spacing and positioning may need to be checked or improved or at least could be improved if you if you have sufficient time to spend on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Probably another round of revisions. I think there were no new revisions in, in recent years since one or two years. I think it's, uh, yeah. But of course, for every new revision also, new testing will be done. It's, new bugs. it's, it's hard to automate this stuff. You can, you can easily generate a test document like I showed with the delimiters, the accents. Somebody must look at that. <laughs> yeah, but then you have to look at this visual scene. Okay, this one looks too close, this one looks incorrect, there are something strange here. And yeah, you can only do this visually by eye. <laughs> it's not, this is something you can't really automate well. So that's it for the overview of 10 years of open type mass. Hundred percent sure what you are referring in terms of the delimiters. Yeah. Ah, what it should be a parameter. What parameter do you need? I have forgotten which one it is. But it's really one with some uh, zigzag lines. Yeah. 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 It was something it was for the delimited yeah. fractions. Yeah. Could it be this uh, yeah. thing with the delimited fraction with the atop with the limbs and? Yes. Yeah, it's a Yeah, that's the one. This is the talk I gave here in 2009 about the <laughs> open type mass illuminated. I think yeah, that that were my conclusions there. There's some difference in the operators. 
especially with the delimited fractions with the, the top with the limbs uh, has different ways than left, right. So you you probably have to rewrite them in terms of left bracket uh, fraction, uh, right bracket instead of yeah, a top with the limbs. Okay. Other questions? Anything else? Yeah, yeah. Nothing? But I think there's enough. I mean, I'm really happy to see this survey. It's a clearly tremendous amount of work, and there has been excellent progress. There's another issue that's working here that hasn't been discussed, and that's that fonts from commercial vendors don't carry versions, and there's no way to query a version number from a typesetting system which means you can have a situation where an author produces a perfect document, submits it to a publisher, they use the same font name, but it's a different uh, version of that font, and the metrics change, the shapes change, things get terribly screwed up. I have at least one book on my shelf uh, about tech, typesetting, that was done correctly by the authors, and the publisher switched fonts on them at press time and ruined the book. And I don't think we have any any real solution to this problem because the font mechanism is hidden so far away from the typesetting system, there's no possibility of communication. And yet, there really ought to be. I think font designers ought to be making some mechanism available to to find out a version of a font so you could do a check. But yeah. is the font that the author used the same as what the publisher yeah. used? It's probably the same. Like I just recently discovered that Cumbria was updated between Windows 7 and Windows 10. And if you open it with the Windows font viewer, it says, okay, now the new one is Cumbria version 6.81, and the old one was whatever, 5. Point something. Right. But there's no way to see that. Yeah, and you see, essentially, it has um, Windows 10 has gone through what we call in the Unix world the rolling release model. That is, every the constant, yeah. which means what you have this week and what you have next week aren't the same and you can't control it, you don't know what's happened, all you know is something changed and you can't explain why. And the uh, version of font is hardwired in the, in the file, so sh it should be... In Lua Tech you can just ask for version So in Lua Tech you can do yeah. that? Okay. Okay. So the question is, is it supported in a micro package or no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Should be. Actually, other question. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have a question. Uh, it is I understand that all this testing you've done visually, you just discovered, and it also time and um, effort. I understand that it would be very difficult to teach a computer how to recognize uh, good and bad font uh, and so on. But there are some things which could be recognized. For example, you could automatically check whether you bump into the limiters or not. It's just a very simple image recognition problem. Yes. You could probably get a better uh, recognition, uh, image recognition problem with uh, X and so on. Uh, so my question is this. Uh, would some screening, obviously there are some things which would, should be done by human eye, but if you could some, do some automatic screening for test, would be uh, would, would be would be uh, would be interesting enough for you and other people so you could think about finding a computer science student to make a work of automatic sound font testing and which problems would be Why not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> you are right, the bumping can be detected automatically. Yeah. Maybe shift off Accent, yeah, could also be, uh, yeah. But but the problem is that everything that uh, can be automatically detected, we can automatically uh, correct. So in, in, if we if we know what is the problem, we can correct. Yes, sure. In many, many, yeah, in yeah. most of cases. So it's if you. Write a script to uh, detect. It's already corrected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. So some sort of uh, 
some sort of scripts of screen would be probably good uh, for font designers as well. They could just for for example for placing accents, we yeah. have the the algorithm which takes the position of uh, high part of the letter and position uh, accent over it. And we we cut that just the uh, uh, slice from the top of the letter and position it on the over it. Okay. I want to thank Ulrich for his job. It's, yeah. it's very valuable for us and thank you very much. <laughs>